Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Will's Uh-oh. starting to see. <laughs> He's like, that's interesting. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome on back to you, me, and the TV, and it's time to dish up some more Hannibal. Oh, all right. I hope you're hungry. If not, you will be after we watch these two episodes, I'm sure. Your, yeah, because that's how it works. Your, you know. Don't don't appetite. even put that on me. <laughs> don't even put that on me. If the world were to end tomorrow. I said one thing about preferring days later, a loin. Be thinking about how to cook me up. Well, yeah. It's not just been Hannibal that you've talked about eating people. (laughs) (laughs) Just, that's how it happens. You run out of food. What else are you supposed to do? Survival of the fittest. (laughs) Exactly. Well, what's going on in Hannibal? Hmm. Do you remember? Not particularly. Lawrence Fishburne's wife's got cancer. Jack's wife's got cancer. And then Hannibal started playing games with him by bringing up an old victim that Jack blamed yeah himself for. Yeah, well, she just disappeared there. Right, and he found her arm. Yeah, Hannibal definitely ate her. Not her arm, but parts maybe the of rest her, of her at least. Yeah, he's just been storing the other parts for yeah. later. So you think her head somewhere because he had a piece of hair on her bed. So just a head and an arm. Good thing left over. Well, should we jump in and see what Hannibal's up to now? I guess so. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us for Hannibal. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. Follow the commentary, access to polls, up people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram, so if you're interested in that, you can follow us. And if you're not interested in that, you can not follow us. That's right. Let's watch Hannibal. Here we go. Yikes. Yep. An FBI trainee named Miriam Lass was investigating private medical records of all the known victims. When she disappeared, she's believed to be the Ripper's ninth, but no trace of her was found until recently. Mom, I actually hit Charlie, but Charlie said we're playing fighting. No, we need to not play fighting. That's not okay. okay. The guy's asking me to play fight. Well, is she you... okay? But no. You need to... Yes, yes. You need to say no play fighting. Mom says no play fighting. Okay? Not at bedtime. Save that for another night. Was an interesting shot. She's got some cords on her, and we just saw them. Yep. <laughs> what do you think Hannibal's thinking about? I don't know. She sounds delicious. I don't know. Such exquisite dinner parties. And I will again, once inspiration strikes. I cannot force a feast. A feast must present itself. I believe this young man is trying to get your attention. Hello. Hi. Thank you, Captain Obvious. On stage. Oh, don't say too much. You must leave something for us to discuss next week. Franklin, good to see you. You too. Class. He's such a hard read. He's such a hard read. Like he wanted to eat that mm-hmm. that guy. Tobias. Is yeah. that his name? I almost felt like Franklin knew his secret. Didn't that kind of seem like that? I'm just trying to read him like you are. Like almost he What is he like outside? Almost the like he brought Tobias as like an offer as like an offering. Oh, you think so? I kind of felt like that to hmm. me. I could be completely off. That's why he was looking at him. It's like I hope 
Hannibal notices. Yeah, that I brought like, for him. exactly, right? Sort of like a a cat when they bring you a dead mouse, right? Like, look at what I did. Oh, that's so fucked. That was a dream. Oh. <sighs> they wouldn't just put the arm and the phone and, and the morgue together. Expecting another couple of bodies after this one. If it's the Ripper, yes, I am. Don't let the Ripper stir you up. The reason he left you Miriam Lass's arm is so he could poke you with it. Why not the rest of her? His other victims? He wants to keep her. She wanted to humiliate you. We'll have a window of opportunity to catch him, and that window will close. The last time the window closed, I lost the Ripper and I lost Miriam Lass. I don't intend to do that again. You think Hannibal's so sophisticated that he can... He's sophisticated enough to not have any patterns, and then forcibly provide pattern to killing just to fuck with people i think he's multiple serial killers right yeah this is just one of his patterns because he's obviously killed more people he had six tongues last last week pieces of him were torn off from the bed to the bathroom like breadcrumbs but he said he had it sealed off and that it would be a fresh scene this is not a fresh scene they weren't even fucking around what did he take out of the chest Going for the heart, probably interrupted. It's intact. Traumatized, but it's intact. Everybody up. It looks like the bathroom from uh, The Shining. Or at least Dr. Sleep. Kind of. It totally is. I opened his chest wall. Spread the ribs. I take his heart in my hand. Internal cardiac massage. Is he trying to save him? Keep him alive for something. So he could watch him die? The killer wasn't killing, he was trying to save his life. Or do that. Interesting. Surgical knowledge. Oh yeah, it's a surgeon. The Ripper left a victim in a church pew using his tongue as a page marker in the Bible he was holding. Yeah, he's theatrical. This isn't theatrical. Trainee or someone trying to make an extra buck in a back alley surgery and it went bad. And actively bad. Hmm. Black market kidney. That's why he wanted his heart to keep beating, because he Cute. wasn't done doing the surgery to remove the organ. Because you need the heart to be pumping blood through the organs when you before you remove them. I don't know. I don't know. He looks normal. Nobody can tell what he is. Good morning. Please come in. Somewhat accurate. I mean, that's how Hannibal started, though. I tried to get your attention. I was aware of that. I knew that you were aware, even though you were pretending that you weren't. It would be unethical to approach a patient. Yeah, HIPAA violation. In any way, our relationship outside this room until that patient gives consent. Exactly. Inside this room. I'm your psychiatrist. I want you to be my friend. Of course you do. <laughs> I have intimate knowledge of you. I think that we would make good friends. It makes me sad that I have to pay to see you. He likes you, Hannibal. I was listening to uh, Michael Jackson last night. And I burst into tears. Man in the mirror. Yeah. That'll do it. Billie Jean. <laughs> in this Michael Jackson fantasy, how is your friendship returned? Sexual favors. <laughs> Hello. Come on in. Dana. How you doing? It is. Scully? It always goes better if I'm perfectly honest with you. She looks great. What would be the point otherwise? I have conversations with a version of you. And hope that the actual you gets what he needs. 
Is she his psychiatrist? That seems like it. A well-tailored person suit. Do you refer to me as person suit with your psychiatrist friends? I don't discuss patients with my psychiatrist friends, especially since I only have one patient who chose to ignore my retirement. A patient who wears a person suit. Maybe it's less of a person suit and more of a human veil. Interesting. Ooh. You and I are friendly. You are my patient and my colleague, not my friend. Red or white? I think something pink. Don't you? <laughs> I, so he's like thinking about Such an interesting her dynamics. after that patient. Like, I wanted to be her friend like he wants to be yeah. my friend. Does she know about Hannibal? I imagine probably she liked him. I imagine she knows something's deep down there. Yeah. I mean knows enough to know that he's wearing a human suit, right? <laughs> I mean what interesting words t to use. Are we simply having conversations? Yes, I think is the answer to that. <laughs> Rosé all day, so <laughs> that's not what's happening. Any variations in the modus that might suggest there could be more than one ripper? Uh, some variations. <laughs> the careful surgical removal and preservation of vital organs. Valuable organs. Mm. I will keep it in mind if another body drops. <laughs> Please do. Was it Hannibal that killed that guy in the bathtub? I don't know. That was an interesting uh, juxtaposition right? there. Right? He became a recipe. Or he's about to become a recipe. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if these are present day moments or if these are flashbacks this is a present day moment flashbacks are black and white not always uh, I, that julian anderson might have been present day like he went to see a psychiatrist after seeing him that one patient oh here we go have we met before we're about to meet again <laughs> I think you just stuck him. Dexter. Found him in a school bus, sitting across the aisle from himself. <laughs> They're like USB cables. You keep them intact for an easy reconnect. Were Mr. Caldwell's heart and kidney disconnected for easy reconnect? Yeah. Um, other Ripper victims, organs and USB cables missing? Missing. <laughs> as the crimes of a serial killer, or as a serial killer disguising his crimes as the work of an organ harvester. The Chesapeake Ripper one. He's disguising it as an organ donor, or organ harvester. Beer brewed in a wine barrel. For two years, I bottle it myself. I'm impressed. What's he uh, season that with? I taste oak. What else do I taste in there? I will only answer that yes or no. Uh, there's human in that. There's human in that beer. What part? Just the blood? There'd be an iron taste to it if there was blood in it. I think there'd be an iron taste regardless of what part of a human in it. Possibly. I recall even before I met Will, you never spoke about him. Probably because I just want everybody to leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, she's very protective of him. He's afraid Will's going to be the third victim, just yeah, like he's Miriam just was. He's fearful that his obsession's going to lead to the death of another yeah. colleague. Interesting. So he just removes a business card when he's ready for a meal.
brains. <sighs> IT consultant for brains. These aren't butcher kills. These are, I don't know, but these aren't. They're all missing different organs. Oh, Before shit. we were looking at waiting lists for a heart or a kidney. Now we're looking at. Them. He's stacking up the bodies. Mm-hmm. This guy, he's missing a spleen. A spleen. His friend said, why don't you make dinner for us anymore? Time for dinner parties. Bowels or know, Ripper's making sausage. <laughs> wow, Hannibal's going off. How many killers? Two. You confident one of them is the Chesapeake Ripper? At least one of them. Who's the second killer that Will's sensing? Him? Could be. I discovered that we are cheese folk. <laughs> I saw you uh, shopping for cheese. He's got an obsessive personality, I would say. Yes. Jose's. Jose's has the best selection of artisanal cheeses. In this guy is crossing the line. Do you decide to buy it sexually? No. <laughs> God. No, not to be defensive. I just um, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I was in a fraternity. I, I, I tried things, you know. Um, Is that what happens in fraternities? <laughs> I don't think so. You often worry about being alone. I worry about hurting. You're coming on a little strong. Perhaps that's your problem. He's seeing such a parallel between himself and this this guy, right? Think so. I think so. He just veils it so much better, but he's afraid of being alone, also, which is why he collects people <laughs> in his refrigerator. He's consuming them, so they'll always be with him. Mm. Could be. I oh, was waiting for Will. Will didn't show. Yes. There's someone else here. Is she the other killer? Has Hannibal been teaching her and that's what the guy in the tub was? I don't think it could have happened that quickly. Nearly nine o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry. No apology necessary. He went looking for him. That's weird. They're friends. Well, I can see why you have bad dreams. <laughs> Deja vu? Some of the Ripper in so many words. <laughs> Takes their organs away because in his mind they don't deserve them. Interesting. In some way. Oh, no, he's telling you. That's why. <laughs> is he that's telling why he or it. is he... I think that's why he's doing it. Yeah. Seems to me he was humiliating someone. He was humiliating Jack. Did it work? I'd say it worked really well. Going over pictures of his own kills. Ambulance would be a smart place to perform surgery. If the cops show up, blend in and drive away. Does Hannibal have an ambulance? Maybe. Do you care to uh, help us catch the Ripper? How could I refuse? <laughs> Devin Silvestri is one of our part-time drivers. Does he want to be a doctor? He's taking the MCATs. There's two killers. Remote tracking. We can't afford that kind of hardware. We use consumer grade. Digital trunk system. Yeah. yeah. If the ambulance radio is on, I can use the DF sweep to find it. Good. This is very educational. <laughs> Taking notes. So is this the second killer then? So it's like, there just happens to be another ho organ harvester going on right now. Hannibal's just like, well, might as well start killing people because somebody else is doing it. Yeah. Show me your hands. He'll die. Dr. Lecter! Need you to assess the situation here, Doctor. 
Does this guy know Hannibal? Got it. I've got it. Mr. Silvestri, put your hands behind your head and exit the vehicle slowly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Will's Uh-oh. starting to see. <laughs> He's like, that's interesting. <laughs> That's the heart. Separate the matter from the water creates a transparent liquid. It's the plasma. I transferred my passion for anatomy into the culinary arts. I fixed minds instead of bodies, and no one's died as a result of my therapy. <laughs> Just for his appetite. Interesting. Enjoy the wine. Thank you. Hannibal know he's I think he's questioning if he knows he's yeah he's Mm -hmm. like oh does he on to me is he sensing something here he's preparing a feast he had to do a dinner party nothing here is vegetarian (laughs) bon appetit Dang. Ooh. Interesting. I thought the guy's name from the ambulance, the victim, was somebody that Hannibal pulled from his cards, but not, maybe not. I don't think so. Dylan Silvestri. Oh, something Stoner. No. Dylan Silvestri was who they arrested. Yeah. I was thinking talking about the victim. Oh, the victim. Oh, no. He said a donor. Oregon donor. He said donor, not stoner. Oh. You sure? Yeah, Silvestri's donor, right? Hmm. So Hamble just went on a killing spree there. Just to entertain his friends. Yeah. Duly noted, don't ask for a dinner party for Hannibal. No kidding. He'll just kill Kill lots of people. A dozen people, half a dozen people. Mm. Interesting. So that's probably what was happening before, right? He just had lots of friends he needed to feed, so he just killed three at a time. I don't know. That was a pretty big dinner party, so you think he doubled it up? But I, I don't know if that was... Was that... Was that the but Or not the... I don't know why I keep saying the butcher. Was that the Ripper's M.O. he was killing as? Or just... The Ripper was taking organs. Yeah. Yeah. He switched up the, the M.O. here for the uh, dinner party. Doubled up the victims. Could be, yeah. Or just had a, yeah, a party twice as large. <laughs> So what's Will's next move? I have think no idea. He's re- you think he's start, starting to suspect something's up with Hannibal? I think he's, I mean, he definitely just sensed something. I don't know that he knows what it, what it is, but he. Was he aware that Hannibal used to be a surgeon before that? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That was his first time. Okay. Like, oh, Hannibal knows how to do this. Well, no, I mean, I think he knew that he was a surgeon. That's, you know, common knowledge for this show so far is like in episode one. Yeah. I'm just wondering if Will knew. Yeah, because he said you, I, as an ER surgeon, I'm sure you saw oh, lots of death, yeah. right? So, yeah, he knew more about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but just seeing him in the act of. Yeah, kind of just was like. Organ hmm. rescue. Right. It's like, hmm. He looks very comfortable with his hands in a chest cavity. Since it's been a while since he's been there. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. So, interesting. Well, what else is on your mind after that episode? Just interested to see how many more dinner parties Handel's having. Or is he keeping them every 18 months like he used to, right? Like yeah. every, every 12 to 18 months he has a large dinner party. Would you t- take an invitation from Handel? No. Mm. I mean, knowing what I know, absolutely not. Had I not known, and you saw those like dishes? the rest of them, perhaps. I mean, they look very interesting and yeah. he brings a lot of I don't know, beauty to the they plate. Look, they look tasty. They did. Ooh. I'm I'm wondering what actual organs. probably a lot of pig organs. Yeah, I imagine mostly pig pig organs. Yeah, maybe some beef. That heart was. Oh, beef heart's kind of big, right? Yeah. So. Hmm. Maybe, maybe some lamb. Yeah, probably lamb or goat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, you ready for some more? Yeah. Let's watch some more Hannibal. Here we go. Is everybody in the house? Oh, 
That would scare the shit out of me. Sounds like a buck. Isn't it? Kind of sound like a like a an injured buck. Kind of like dogs from inside the house, but. I should learn to play the easier strings first, then the harder ones. No, you shouldn't. Are they really made from cat guts? Not always. <laughs> Are they made from human guts? Interesting. How many fucking murderers are there in Baltimore? Is that what Hannibal was sensing when he looked at Tobias? Is Perhaps. he recognized that he fellow predator? Yeah, maybe. I did not know that's what strings were made of. Just the good ones. Intestines. That's better. Good. Oh, so fucking creepy. <laughs> so Franklin is drawn to fucking murderers. Cannibals. Well, he wasn't eating them. We don't know that he was eating them. He was yeah, just I killing them. Not. He is drawn to a killer. Does that mean Michael Jackson was a killer? He's drawn to Michael Jackson, too. No, yeah, Michael Jackson's innocent. I invited you over on the off chance we do find it alive. It's hard for me to wrangle a wounded animal by myself. Did you think it was a date? Honestly, it never crossed my mind. Oh. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Too broken to date? You're not broken. What's your excuse? Kind of. He's kind of broken. Why are you assuming I don't date? Do you? No. She goes to dinner a lot at Hannibal's. I'm not even seeing any tracks. I mean, except for the ones we made. Was it just in his head to get her out there, you think? Hard to say. I googled psychopaths. <laughs> He's been saying very dark things. And then saying, just kidding, a lot. It started to seem kind of crazy. I did that Google search for you. You check a lot of boxes, too. Shut up. Would you rather just talk about me? Not at all. Are you bored with me? Definitely. You could be projecting onto him what you consider to be your flaws. Does that mean that I am a psychopath? You are not a psychopath. Although you may be attracted to them. <laughs> We've, we, we just said that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Tobias? Member of the Baltimore Metropolitan Orchestra. Brass section. Trombone player. Didn't like how this guy played? So we turn him into a cello? It's not any easier, Jack. Shake it off. Keep on looking. Good. You shake it off. Get to work. We'll come back in when you're ready. I mean, like, what the fuck do you think he's doing? Just standing there? For fun? I open his throat from the outside to access the trachea and expose the vocal cords. I open his throat from the inside using the neck of a cello. Yow. Powder on the wound. He chalked him? Pausing from above. Yeah. So, so he wanted to play his vocal cords mm. like a cello I referred you to another psychiatrist you refused I'm more tenacious than Franklin why were you so tenacious because you're fucking skull. Because she's fucking scully. That's oh, why. Played him like a fiddle. Shallow. Had to open you up to get a decent sound out of you. Yeah, he didn't like how he sounded. Yeah. Well, he plays brass, so. I 
confidence. He's killed before. Like this? No, not like this. This is a skilled musician trying a new instrument. Oh, that dude's gonna be devastated when Tobias gets arrested. What do you see behind closed eyes? I wish they'd stop bringing that guy up. I believe he wants to show someone how well he plays. Tobias sensed Hannibal and he's trying to show off for him. So you think Tobias killed that man at the symphony? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Why would he say something like that to me? What do you think? Because he knows I'd tell you. Yep, he's wanting, mm -hmm. he's showing off for he's Hannibal. Serenading for Hannibal. What does Hannibal do with this guy? The strings are all gut. I also carry steel and polymer strings, if you prefer. I prefer gut. What instrument would that be? The theremin. It can generate any pitch throughout its range, even those between conventional notes. And so can a violin. Or trombone. Theremin. Never heard of it. I can't help thinking the orchestra will be better for it. At least the brass section. What brings you here looking for a guy? My harpsichord needs new strings. It's making an awful noise. Perhaps you could help. They're speaking the same fucking <laughs> twisted language. <laughs> right? Hannibal was more overt about it at first, and then this guy was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Let's just, oh, let's yeah. just we talk We do play like this in now. between notes, don't we? Got a bird stuck in the chimney? That sounds like a raccoon. I think it's trying to climb back up or something. But why? Oh, jeez. He's just hearing things. I don't think he found anything. By the time I knocked a hole in the chimney, it climbed out the top. Yeah, that's a unique option to go with. Like, could have just fucking used a brush. Brushed it up. Can't use your freaking fireplace now. Freaking dum dumb. You avoided being in a room alone with me, essentially, since I met you. And now you're making house calls. What is his appeal for her? What does she find appealing about him? Maybe she sees something she can fix. Just see very little from him that is appealing as a character. The way that I am isn't compatible with the way, the they way I am. What way is he? I just don't quite understand him. Yeah wouldn't be able to stop analyzing because I have this professional curiosity. Okay, it. so she's like, you're crazy, and I like to analyze crazy, so we wouldn't mesh. If I were my patient, my advice to me would be don't do this. I wouldn't take romantic advice from a psychiatrist. <laughs> Did you kill that trombonist? Do you really have to ask? No. no. Just changing the subject. Franklin gave you my message. The murder is being investigated by the FBI. They're going to find you. Let them. You want to get caught? I want them to try. They'll send men to investigate and I'll kill them. I was going to kill you. What stopped you from wanting to kill me? I stopped after I followed you one night out of town to a lonely road, to a bus yard. Oh, Hannibal's gonna have to kill him, for sure. Then why did you invite me here for dinner? It wasn't just to restrain your harpsichord. I was going to kill you. I didn't poison you, Tobias, I wouldn't do that to the food. He's got too much respect for the food. <laughs> Expecting someone? No. Is it Will? Mm. 
Murderers don't make the greatest friends. Yeah, I kissed Alana Bloom. Oh, God, it is Will. Well, come in. Oh, boy. Colleague, you just missed him. Didn't finish his dinner. An urgent call of some sort. Now it's going to be like, who can kill who first? <laughs> that was like two predators, like just... It, circling each other, yeah. right? That was intense. Wondering then why you kissed him. And felt compelled to drive an hour in the snow to tell me about it. <laughs> uh, maybe her face changed. I don't know. She, she knew. That you're crazy. Are you still hearing this killer serenade behind your eyes? <laughs> it's our song. Does that deserve a human in it? Couldn't tell you. I hesitate telling you this as it borders on a violation of doctor patient confidentiality. He's going to tip him off. He suspects a friend of his may be involved with the murder at the symphony. He owns a music store in Baltimore, specializing in string instruments. Perhaps you should interview him. Oh, but he said that they'll send people after me and I'll kill them. So did... Is he... Is he trying to have uh, Will be killed or does he know Will won't? He does kind of like Will's girl at the same time, right? But I, I don't know. You spend a lot of time building walls, Hannibal. It's natural to want to see if someone is clever enough to climb over them. Well, now he's trying to consider... Will's a friend. Is he going to save Will from this guy? Something wrong? Didn't you hear that? I didn't hear anything. What is Will's, what is Will's brain trying to tell him with these animal noises? To get out? Is that his fight or flight? Sorry about that. He killed the law enforcement officers that he took them. Oh, good. Go into his lair all by yourself. Real brilliant. Jars of intestine. It's bigger than cat intestine. Feet under that curtain. Is he already trying to harvest this guy? Watch out, you're next, Will. guy's not going to be able to hear music for a while. Can you shoot his ear off? I think so. You focus too much on your therapist. And not enough on your therapy. Yeah, something so obsessive about people. I just killed two men. The police came to question me about the murder. This plane is going down. Let it have a controlled descent. We can get you back up in the air again. Oh, he's going to kill you? I want you to leave now. Stay right where you are, Franklin. What is Hannibal going to do? <laughs> I know that you wish to God that you didn't. No. You did. No, I don't. Only thing you can change is your future. Right? He's obsessed with psychopaths because he wants to try to fix them. Subconsciously. Nothing has happened in our relationship that you and I can't do. He took the kill from him. Is he going to be pissed about that? Lions fighting it out. 
Yowza. seen that happen before and catcher from one of my softball teams that caught a ball caught a throat. ball at her throat and that's exactly what happened to her finishing him with the elk now to call 911 all oh, those intestine strings in that harpsichord he probably makes his own strings probably oh no i i doubt it i doubt that he does but he probably really appreciated that tobias did right he's happy to see will yeah he was worried that will was one of the two guys that he killed yeah he's worried you were dead it's like the first real emotion i've seen out of hannibal yeah i thought this was a simple matter of poor choice and friends this doesn't feel simple to me Dragged you into my world. Ah, I got here on my own. If anything, he kind of dragged Will into it by telling him to go interview him. Did you take responsibility when you were attacked by your patient? Yes. But I don't take responsibility for his death. No, should you? Ooh. Lots to unpack with that last... I feel like Hannibal killed the patient that attacked her. You think? Yeah. Which is why you shouldn't feel responsible. Yeah. The way he said it was like, I took care of that for you. Right. But also, was Hannibal was being completely honest with her there, right? He didn't want to kill Franklin. He did that simply because he knew it would enrage Butch. Yeah, I... I he didn't. I think that's why he felt bad that his that Franklin. He died. knew Franklin was going to die regardless. Right. He, so he, he wanted was just to make it painless for him. Right. And quick, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And to enrage Budge, so he had the upper hand. Exactly. Yeah. So it was a but, psychological advantage for him. That was an intense episode. It was. From their first dinner meeting to mm-hmm. Will going down to that basement. Psychopaths. To that final Go fight face to there. Face. Whew. Two predators yeah. going at it. Even though I know you, nothing was going to happen to Hannibal, you're yeah. still worried about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It's just the way they build that tension up. Mm-hmm. And it's weird that you're cheering for, for Hannibal. Hannibal. Mm. So stupid, but, right? I mean, you don't want another serial killer to kill him. Exactly, right? That's yeah. That defeats the purpose. Anybody's going to take down Hannibal, it's got to be Will. Right. Even though you don't really like Will yet. Still not a fan. Maybe once Will and Hannibal become friends, you'll like him more. I don't think it's the character. I think it's the acting of the character that I'm just not. I don't not just like don't feel it. It's just dancy. Dancy. It just doesn't feel. Just doesn't feel quite right to me. Is it because he's British? No. Just, it's just like. And he's doing an American. I think too over dramatized. Okay. He's just laying it on a little too thick for me. Like Will doesn't have to seem so tortured all the time. But we've talked about this last episode. So he I've is pretty to... tortured. He's imagining animal sounds, but it's like the animal sounds saved his life in a, in a way by pulling him out of the house. Not in a way, it did. It yeah, saved his so life. So it's like yeah. his fight or flight instinct. Yeah, it was manifest. I don't know why. But why was it doing it at his house? Unless um, it was just a his mind is. He's just losing it. Yeah. But Hannibal really does want Will to be his friend because he yeah. sees that Will, since Will can empathize with him by mm-hmm. putting himself into psycho shoes, that Will can be his friend, worthy yeah. of being his, in his circle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's interesting. That was the, like the first time Matt Mickelson has shown like any sort of emotion. Yeah, it was very interesting, he and he Will did. Step he, in, he, he was like, he was like was so alive. happy. Yeah. yeah. Happy to the point of almost tears, you yeah. could tell. Yeah, was, that was a very good performance. Those are some good episodes. This show is heating up. It's getting it's getting so, warmer. We got Dana Scully in the house now. I love it. As love Hannibal's it. psychotherapist. Yeah, that's pretty fun. How much do, do you think she knows? I think she knows a lot. And when she says, "It's nice when people can see us," is she saying that as the royal us, or is she saying it as the us? As maybe she's. A psychopath herself. Yeah. Mm. That's why Hannibal's drawn to her. Perhaps. 
I think he's drawn to her because she just can see through his bullshit. Yeah. Knows that he. Yeah, knows that he is. Feels safe. A different kind of creature, and yeah, feels safe with her. And she's not scared of him. Right. She's intrigued by him. Clarice wasn't scared of. Exactly. Interested in him. Wants to know about more about him. Intrigued by him. Not afraid of him. Interesting. Yeah, she's definitely like a Clarice like character. He yeah. respects her. Do you think uh, love interest for Hannibal or no? Just a I think just curiosity. A real and respect for respect for a smart, tenacious woman who sees through his his mask, his his veils. His yeah, he wears suit. a lot. His, his person pe- suit sees through his person suit. Yeah, interesting. And still. We'll talk to him like you know she's retired a person yeah yeah hmm. it's an interesting dynamic i like it i hope they stick with it yeah so we went from the ripper in the first episode we watched to this um so many killers in baltimore you guys stay away from baltimore well it's a very... and we got the wire too like geez we got <laughs> we're, gangs we're in the thick of baltimore and right serial now. killers you being the tvs lots of psychopaths in baltimore yeah. just stay <laughs> away well, that is like a very metro area because that's right around DC as well. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot of people in that little area. There's a major metropolitan area yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. Still, I'm not I totally I totally forgot that we were watching the Wire and <laughs> Hannibal both take place in Baltimore. Yeah, that's pretty. So funny. That's fun. Quantico. <laughs> Quantico. Quantico's in Virginia, though. So yeah, it's all it's all the same. They're all connected. Yeah, they're all close. They're all like. One just larger, the major metropolitan area. DC, so. Yeah. All right. Well, well, what should people comment on after these two delicious episodes? Well, I uh, TV's so hard to comment because I want to know what they think about Scully, but yeah. we can't ask that because they, they know. They Who's know more fans about of Scully. X-Files and was excited to see Dana Scully on Hannibal? Yeah. Gillian Anderson. Gillian or Jillian? Yeah. It's a G. It's a GIF or JIF? I believe in this case it's Jillian Anderson. But okay. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Could and what's be your Gillian. favorite orchestral instrument? Orchestral, yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> he puts the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Quit tell me how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh, thanks for hanging out, you guys. Come back next week for two more episodes yeah. of Hannibal. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full-length commentary, access to pulls up, pick watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time. Have a good one. Bye.